let them go. Or you're, you're in the airport, you're waiting in line to go through the immigration, or you're, you're about to go pick up your flight, and someone's behind you is really anxious. Not that they're going to get ahead, but it's like, I don't want that anxious energy behind me. I let them go in front of me. Okay, I can wait a little bit longer and let them go. Or you're in a supermarket, someone's behind you, and they're really anxious. They got this anxious energy. They want to keep pushing you or get ahead of you. Not that anything's going to happen, or they get ahead. So what happens is you begin to sense things and feel things and become more sensitive. Developing sensitivity is not a weakness and it's not a bad thing. That does not mean you are not meditative and you're not silent. Or something happens, you get some news or somehow you get triggered and it creates anxiety inside you. Let's say something has happened and something's been triggered in you. You don't have any control over your nervous system. You cannot control it. If you could, you would have, you would do something. You would control and manipulate. We're all here because we all have tried different methods, courses, classes, techniques, seminars in learning how to manipulate our relationships, our family, our finances. We have been working on it continuously for past 30, 40, 50, 70, 80, 90 years to how to manipulate unconsciously. I'm not saying when I say manipulate in a bad way, but we're all trying to figure out how we can manipulate things so things go our way. So if you succeed that, don't you think you're going to be manipulating your nervous system? So your nervous system does according to what you wish, means it remains really calm and quiet all the time? You will. You will be able to manipulate it so it remains calm and quiet, but you can't. I mean, of course, you can drink a little whiskey or vodka or smoke something or take in Valium or Ambion or some kind of medication of some sort, external help to mellow down your nervous system if you have to. You do what you have to do. But the nervous system getting triggered through whatever from the emotional body, something happened, you got some bad news, an event happened in your life, whatever, it's traumatic or not, whatever. I mean, anything can happen. And it's triggered your nervous system. And now you're in some sort of anxiety. To me, that's not an indication of weakness or an indication that you're not living meditatively. And you have not discovered silence. Discovering inner silence, discovering that place within yourself, which is quiet, which is still, has really nothing to do with your nervous system and your emotional body. If it did, then we all could 
work it out in a way that we can manipulate things. And the first thing we would want to manipulate is to feel good all the time in the human body, to be blissed out all the time, to be in just this state of complete bliss. So you won't get angry, you won't get agitated, you don't get nervous, you don't feel any kind of feelings, whatever that is. Nothing appears in you, you manipulate it. Excuse me. Excuse me. I don't do well with air conditioning. So. so, my dear sister Hilda brought this up and she messaged me yesterday that uh, talk about this. And it's been interesting because. I've experienced it directly in past couple of months in a few different places that I've been residing in Tulum that somehow I ended up being next door to construction sites. And some days they're bringing these huge bulldozers with jackhammers and banging in the ground. And it was very interesting because two, three times I experienced like my entire nervous system was really affected. And one day I had a lot of work to do and I thought I'm gonna go crazy. I had to leave the house. And I leave the house and I'm riding my motorcycle and I couldn't drive my motorcycle. I thought I'm gonna fall down because of the effect of the noise on the nervous system. But does that mean you're less conscious? Does it mean you haven't decided inner peace? Does it mean that you haven't, you haven't recognized silence within yourself? Not in my experience. So it's good to distinguish the two because what happens is it's very easy to project on the teacher, on the guru and someone else and say, okay, this other person is always going to be in this state and that's not true because i've seen my sad guru papaji getting angry and frustrated from some of the students and kick him out of the house i've seen mom ritananda mai divine mother the hugging mother getting angry with um workers trying were painting the ashram and she was very upset with them because they didn't follow her directions. I've seen different things. So the emotion and the nervous system can easily be affected by elements, whether it's inner chemical reactions of the body or what is going on outside in the world. But that doesn't mean it touches the truth of who you are. That doesn't mean you don't know who you are and you haven't found that place within yourself. It's two different stories. So I'm sharing this with you because it's a good subject to talk about it. First, one is it's been my own direct experience in past couple months. Secondly, is that the mind comes and begins to judge. The mind comes and says, well, if I was awakened, if I was realized, if I do my work right, then I shouldn't be affected. I shouldn't feel these things. I shouldn't get angry. I shouldn't feel sad. I shouldn't get anxious. 